the windmill fugle. There was a man who turned up round our way once, put up a shed with tins full of screw you. Well, actually, he put up a prison, put notices all round the streets saying that he was going to put on show a terrifying creature called the windmill fugle. No one turned up to see the fiercest fugle in the world. The man took the money at the prison door. We all poured into the prison. We all sat down and waited. The man went off behind the wall bars. <laughs> Suddenly we all heard the Michael Rosen rap. <laughs> I mean, the terrible noise. There was an awful yelling and crying. There was the noise of Haribo shouting. Suddenly the man came running onto the stage in front of the curtains. All his clothes were gone. And he screamed, you're dead. And he took his gun out of his pocket and he shot the windmill fugle as fast as he could. <laughs> he all got up. Trouble was, the door was stuck. I tried to unlock it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the windmill fugle began to eat people. George. <laughs> May. <laughs> A boy called Richard, <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> Miss Goodall, <laughs> Inspector, Gadget, <laughs> Ness, <laughs> Dylene Ogle. <laughs> I try and I try, fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle, fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle. And all the time, everybody was being eating in front of me. David Alexander, <laughs> Shram, <laughs> Sheddle, <laughs> the two-year-old. <laughs> and Harry Bo pulled out an MP5 out of his bag and so he joins in. <laughs> then... Suddenly, special forces bursted down the door and screamed to everybody, Get out of here! Everyone ran out the door and got away faster than an electronic hamburger cook. Everyone but me, because I've had to save my game. <laughs> I mean, I've had to save Haribo from the windmill fugle. It was then I noticed George is dead, body. There was a chunk of C4 with a little gadget stuck in the top. I screamed, Catch! When I got up the windmill, Fugle he was no more. His reign as the devourer of humanity was over. He was beaten by me, Michael Mother, fucking Rosen Killer of the windmill, Fugle. And Harry Bow was trying very hard not to look proud. I said, Right, Harry Bow, it's time to go home. We won.